Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Grace Lee's Cards. Uh, as promised, we have our 2021 box of Donruss Baseball. I'm excited to open this up. I haven't really looked at any product, um, anybody else's um, videos on this because I wanted to be able to see it for myself. Um, just what the cards are going to look like, what's going to come out of here. It looks like um, on the box, find three autographs or memorabilia cards per box. It's usually two autographs and one memorabilia. Um, I opened a box of 2020 of this last year and um, it was okay. I got a Zach Collins autograph, a Brendan McKay autograph, and a Corey Seager jersey card. Um, along with a bunch of like Ronald Acuna Jr. numbered cards, which was kind of neat. Um, but I'm not sure how much those go for right now on, on, um, eBay or anything. It's usually a little bit higher as you're first starting out. Um, so we can take a look at the box here. It also says you get one hobby exclusive hollow blue, uh, parallel here, uh, on pack or in every pack. Um, as I was kind of getting this, it kind of, I got another thing from Panini in the mail, which was this Jim Rice autograph back card from, um, oh man, I want to say it's called Pant pantheon um now i had i'll get started with this and i'll kind of tell this story i had 400 panini reward points um, in my account for multiple years because there's just never is anything that interesting on the panini rewards thing that i feel like is a good deal i can't get this open um and i've looked and looked and looked and looked at one point, I almost bought a basketball autograph player because I was thinking he was going to be a Hall of Famer or something. But when I went back to get it, it's gone. Um, there, there's not a lot of baseball autographs on there of players that you've heard of. I think um, I looked recently and actually it wasn't too bad. But I came across this Jim Rice autograph bat card, which I thought was pretty cool. It's actually numbered at a 149. Um, so I thought that was a pretty nice uh, card for... Uh, to get out of that panini rewards but i i can't stand panini rewards I, i'd be <laughs> i'm gonna be angry if i get a panini rewards thing in here because i just think that there um there's nothing that great on there i'd rather just pull an autograph of a nobody out of a pack rather than go and pick my autograph of a nobody through panini rewards or wait two years and get a jim rice autograph which eh, that's pretty good too um, so I think I saw, is it 24 packs? Yeah, 24 packs per box, eight cards per pack. Um, I believe there's a couple of parallels that they've kept in this product through the year. I think, um, the Independence, or the Bell, the Bell one, I think it's in here. Um, I don't know, I'm excited to see what these look like. I haven't really looked at too much. So we'll kind of get started here. Let's see, well, we can look at the no purchase necessary information. No odds on there, but just kind of what you can get in these. Um, now, I bought this box on Panini's website the day it came out, and it was $134.99 um, with like a couple bucks shipping, seven bucks shipping. So it was like $143, something like that. Um, now, when you go on Steel City, I believe they're $199 per box. Um, so, okay, so we kind of get this. This looks like um, kind of an older Donruss feel to it, which is kind of nice. Backs looks very similar to they have in recent years. Um, I'm not sure how they're kind of looking at last year. They usually have the numbers in like a baseball, um, but this year I guess they didn't. And that's kind of how I used to tell if they were um, short prints or not. This is, uh, I'm guessing, just a regular another card, unless they're doing something weirder with their short prints. See the baseball? So sometimes when you looked at these, if it was filled in, that meant it was the short print. If it wasn't, it meant it's just a base card. Now here's Chef G. So let's see what this one looks like on the back. Anything different about it? I don't think so. I think it's just the name. Let me look at Mr. Trent Grisham here. Chef G, numbers are the same. Yeah, I don't think there's anything too different um, between the two cards. Looks like they got kind of two different styles here. Oh, how about that? We got our first autograph right there, Tariq Scooball, who's a good one. I would I would say that's a pretty good one to get. Autograph looks kind of rough there, but 
not too bad of an autograph to get not numbered or anything so just kind of his base autograph but we'll kind of put that on there and let that bad boy shine a little bit and then we have our blue hollowed out card there and it'd be nice if this was like a hot box and i got like five autographs or something i think that panini does that from time to time uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for that but i'm not gonna think that that's gonna happen have some kind of purple card in here. So we have a Jack Flaherty Diamond King. Now is this numbered in any way? I think usually, no. Their numbered cards I think are usually on the front. But kind of interesting. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, Steve, there's a numbered card. We have a Tyler Stevenson rookie card. So we'll kind of keep some of these better cards aside. Kyle Hendricks out of 288. As you can see, a 35 of 288. I th uh, maybe, for some reason, I thought he got pegged as the start of this year, but I don't think so. Bryce Harper just read an article that he filled up um, with gas in his full uniform out in Clearfield, uh, Florida, where they're playing for spring training. This one feels thicker than the first two. Let's see if we can get a peek. What do you guys think? It looks like it's in there. It's like the number real. So we're going to get all our hits knocked out, or almost all our hits knocked out kind of right away here, which is kind of sad. Kind of like the idea of the thrill of going through each pack individually, waiting for that hit to come. An Aaron Judge Diamond King here. And we're going to get our hit. Looks like it might be Aaron Judge. Look at that. Oh, this is neat. Aaron Judge Stripe here and it's numbered out of 99 75 of 99 that's a pretty nice one to get i'm pretty happy with that one a little pinstripe on that bad boy a nice like almost like candy cane kind of uh kind of side there that's not a bad one to get all right so we're only due for one more hit here let me try to move this box over we'll have our chair excludable and and judge and some rookies so we have Hold one rookie card so far with Tyler Stevenson. Um, I heard that he is kind of trying to work out, seeing if he can beat Tucker Barnhart for his starting spot. I'd be pretty surprised if he could. But we'll see. That might be an interesting. There's Ken Griffey Jr. It'd be interesting to see that. I almost think we have our second autograph. It looks like it's... W C. It's not Wander Franco. William Contreras for Atlanta for our second hit. Don't know too much about him. But hey, it's another autograph here. We will take it. We'll let that bad boy shine up here. Maybe I'll move Tyler Stevenson over and try to fit everything I can kind of on the screen. So we've got our three hits already, which is Interesting. We also have a Joey Bart, not his rookie card. Three hits in the first, what, four packs? Each pack has had a hit except for one, I think. So maybe we'll get lucky here, or maybe it's just, hey, they're all done. Now you're gonna just have to go through some of those, these other ones here. Um, well, this is odd. They have this card on the front. Maybe I just Turned it around here? Okay. Anyway, Jeff McNeil, Zach Wheeler, there's the Mike Trout. Is that card number 170? Ray Maddox. So this one says career wins. I think our last one said just said Roger Clemens on it. So we've got a Lucas Giolito out of 2021. That's kind of weird that they're doing that, kind of like how Topps does theirs. And that candy cane kind of uh, um, print there, and the Max Scherzer on the in the blue. Okay, so what else is gonna come about in here? Look, they did it again. They switched it around. Now we have the Diamond King. Maybe I'm just they put them in different, or maybe I'm just opening them differently. Um, so there's Mo. Bryce Harper, Andres Jimenez, 
Is he the one that was traded for Frankie Lindor? I think he is. One of the ones traded. There's Miguel Rojas and Vlad. Miguel Rojas numbered out of 492, looks like. So we'll keep moving along here. So, so far, the Tariq Skubal is a good one. That Aaron Judge is nice for a jersey card. I don't know much about William Contreras, so I'm thinking that that's not, nothing too special. I think that's kind of how my box was last year. You get kind of one okay with Brendan McKay. Um, you got a decent jersey, and then the other autographs kind of, eh. Yeah. Casey Mize's rookie card here. And we have a Carlos Carrera, upside down Diamond King, which I'm kind of thinking is, it's got kind of a vintage back. So I'm kind of thinking it's just some kind of insert card here. Yeah, it's got the stars on it. So it's got a kind of different feel to the back of it, which is some, just kind of a, um, another kind of short printy type card, another kind of insert card. It's not numbered or anything. Um, you can pull those, I think one in every, I don't know, couple packs. Okay, look, we're back to the regular here. John Means, who's the starter for the O's this year. He's gonna get the opening day. Nod, JT Romuto is still battling an injury. Injury, we'll see what happens with him. There's Tatis. What card number did he get? 71. Okay, we have a Raphael Davers. There's another one of these, so should have that, yeah. It has that vintage kind of feel back to it. It's not kind of like a smooth, glossier. I don't know if you can kind of tell. You can kind of see a little bit of the difference in there. Chris Bryant. I don't think they go for much, maybe a buck or two, something like that on eBay. Um, nothing too insane. This box took forever to get to me, by the way. I ordered it the day it came out, which was the 12th, I think, the Friday. Uh, maybe, yeah, I think it was Friday the 12th, and I just got it yesterday, which would have been, was that the 20th, I believe, or the 21st. Um, came on a Sunday. Um... They're doing this backwards again. I'm going to flip it around. Tal Marte. And a Tatis again. Matt Chapman. Jose Canseco. Max Scherzer. We got another of these ones out of 2020. Last time it's Dustin May. And then we got Tristan McKenzie in that blue hollow foil. So that's not too bad. I kind of like that more than the Dustin May. Um, I'm just going to try to put some of these. I'll try to move these cards around a little bit more as I get maybe some of the better ones. I want to be able to have at least the two hits and the jersey card kind of in there. Um, let's see what else comes out of this one. Gosh, I saw Sammy Sosa. That's Sammy Sosa's on the back. Sheesh. Let's see if he's in his Orioles jersey. Um, now, Donruss, obviously, Panini doesn't have the rights to these. Um, <laughs> there he is. Panini doesn't have the rights to these, um, to the, to the logos, so they're all airbrushed out, as you can see. Um, it's another one of these out of 2021. I'm not a big fan of these 2021s. There's so many of them. Um, well, I wonder what that means. I wonder if that means kind of their print run was lower. I pulled three cards out of 2021, in like the first, I don't know, what, eight packs, ten packs. If you did that with tops, you know, you're going to pull one per box, maybe. Um, that makes you wonder a little bit if the print run is a lot different. Man, you are putting these cards in every which way. There's no strategy to figure this out. So Dawson. There's an Alc Bomb. All right, so we got the Alc Bomb. That's good. So I have him in tops. I have him in uh, Donruss now. Now, as as the releases start coming out, Inception came out. I'm not going to open a box of Inception because I could only afford one. Um, and I'd open it up and it'd have some random rookie card of somebody I don't know. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I, I don't think I'm going to do a hobby box of Heritage because it's just going to give me a jersey card. Um, and that's a hit, but, you know, to spend $100 or whatever it is on the box... Um, for one jersey card. It just doesn't seem to be something I'm wanting to do. Um, so what I'll probably do is just buy the retail when that comes out and do a, a, a 
thing about that. There's Nate Pearson. We'll take that one, too. Bam, bam. Is that... Is that Brandon Lau? I think so. Chris Paddock. Another one out of 2021. A lot of those. This one's almost, like, lighter. Like, they didn't use enough ink for that one. Yeah, there's a lot of those. I'm not a big fan of those. I mean, I guess I'll be a big fan if I get one of somebody good. Um, so far, I've got a Dustin May, a Donovan Solano, a uh, Lucas Giolito, and uh, something else. All right, let's see what we got in this one. So I'm guessing this isn't a hot box because we're not pulling you know, six more autographs. This is Ronald Cunha, card 192. Jackson, Kiebert, your Ruiz, Ricky, I will... Take that one. I, I'm wondering if he's going to have a good year. He's got a tough, um, tough lineup to crack. Yaz, Mike Yastrzemski, who was an Oriole. And we have Jordan Alvarez as the star card, which I'm hoping for a good year. I've been watching him. He's finally playing some spring training games, hoping that he has a, a nice year in general. Um, he hasn't looked too great in spring training. But we'll see. Looks like we have a Joey Bart in the blue foil. So we are going to get rid of Andres Jimenez. Put our Joey Bart there, which I'm not sure how well he's going to do this year either. Oh, looks like we have a shiny gold card coming up. Andy Johnson, Luis Patino, rookie card. There's a Kestaddy for Keston Hira. We have a DJ Wemayhew highlights card numbered at a 999. 759 of 999. That's a nice shining card. Might be better if it was somebody a little bit more valuable, but kind of nice. So, so far, all my kind of numbered cards haven't been anything too crazy. I've gotten two nice, of, two nice rookie cards of the blue. But, you know... I'm looking for, uh, you know, as we all are, looking for some of the bigger named rookies. That's not Luke Voigt, Mary Walker, the Diamond Kings of Ron Acuna. There's a Brady Singer rookie card. On the side, here's a Bartolo Colon star card with the vintage. And Kevin Gossman. Speaking of former Orioles, I saw that Dylan Bundy got slated for the opening day. Um, start for Ant or for uh, the Angels. It's kind of a that's crazy to me to think that he uh, was able to do that. Go from the Orioles and kind of be eh, okay, but then kind of doing an opening day start, they kind of just let him go. Debbie Garcia, looks like we got a Xander Bogart's Dominators card. Numbered out of 999. 605 of 999. Let's take a look at the back of that one. Of a nice little card. I'm guessing if you got these retail, they would not be have that number on it. It would just kind of be a regular um, card like that. And we got A Rod, 14 times All Star Hollow Blue, which is probably the uh, um, short print version of that. And they probably sell for a dollar or two online. Nothing crazy. So far, this box, nothing crazy. So far, I think my uh, Tops Hobby box was better. Manny Machado, Pinto Maeda, Paul Molitor, Tim Anderson, Alex Kirillov's rated rookie. Oh, we got a Ricky Henderson, numbered out of 2021. It's a little better. I'll take, uh, I know you can't really see it, but I got Donovan Solano's down here. I'll kind of put him aside. Mike Soroka, and then the Alex Kirillov rookie card. Now, last year, when I, and I know people don't go by Beckett, but I remember getting the box of this last year, and Pulling like Luis Robert and Bo Bichette and all those people and seeing that Beckett had those prices for those cards up pretty high. I was I was kind of impressed that they had those cards for ten dollars or more. I just didn't feel like they were kind of gonna be worth that much. Alright. So we have Corey Seeger. Renato Nunez, who I think is on the Tigers now. He's always did he did well for the Orioles, but Apparently he struck out a lot. He had pretty good power numbers. I don't think he was too great in the defensive side of things. 
Dylan Carlson, and we have a fire of Paul Canorco out of 75. Not the best one, but 32 of 75, and I wish it was on the Dylan Carlson. That would have been better. We will take that Bryce Harper card out of there and we'll put the fire. There. Okay, here we go again with another one. Swanson looks like we're going to have another 2021 card. It looks like they're kind of doing, um, you kind of get to here and then they kind of throw in a, a rookie card or one of these cards in here. Mark McGuire out of 2021. So we've got a Ricky Henderson and a Mark McGuire out of 2021. But nothing, I would say nothing too big as far as a hit. I haven't gotten a lot of the big rookies. I've gotten one. And we got a Debbie Garcia. I think I've already pulled his regular one, but we got that one. Flip these around. We got some other shine coming up. Randy Arizarina, I'm not sure what kind of year he's going to have. I've been watching him in spring training, hasn't looked super good. We've got a Mike Trout live stream, Donruss live stream, out of 349. 276 of 349. So that's probably, that might be the best card that we've pulled so far. <laughs> Couple packs left. We will move this to May. And we will put the Mike Trout live stream card on there. And we got a nice Debbie Garcia in the blue foil, which I'll always take a rookie in a parallel version. I don't know if we could find something really nice, like the fire or some kind of other uh, insert. I see something weird coming up. Raphael Devers, Bo Bichette, Keith Hernandez, there's a Tristan McKenzie, we already have one of him, we have him as foiled, we have another Bartolo Colon coming up, that's going to be Big Sexy in a Statue of Liberty parallel, well, that's something, I haven't even seen that one yet, Statue of Liberty, it's kind of like a almost feels like a more of a, I don't know, maybe not. I might be crazy, but you see the Statue of Liberties on there? That's different. I haven't seen that yet. And we got a Trevor Bauer out of 2021 with that. I don't know how hard it is to get those Statue of Liberty ones. We haven't seen those yet. It's not numbered or anything. We got a Nate Pearson in a blue. I'll take that. And we got a nice uh, gold coming up here. Frankie Lindor. There's Joe Adele, who just got optioned down. Oh, we got a rated prospect of Max Mayer. It's not a bad one to get, but Joe Adele was just sent down to the minors. Um, had a pretty decent hitting for spring. I watched some of his fielding, which was atrocious, which seems to kind of go along with how he's been. Pete Pearson in the blue. All right, two packs left, guys. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see if we get any other cool little parallel or numbered card. I, I'm thinking that Mike Trout might be the best card that we pull. But you never know. Let's see, I see another one of those. Um, Tony Kane side ones. I don't know what you want to call them. Nick Madrigal. Corey Seager out of 2021. So we didn't pull the Mount Castle. It just means I'm going to have to spend some time buying some uh, retail to pull that, that card. Last one. Get this box out of the way. Move some of these over that I kind of have on the screen. A little disappointed in this box so far. I thought that maybe it would go a little bit better. Mike Trout cards okay. The Aaron Judge cards nice. Joey Bart. I mean, I've got a couple of nice cards in here. Can't expect for a home run in each one. I don't know if you guys watched my metal box that I did last week. That one was nice with seeing the Spencer Torkelson autograph. Um, I think it's around a hundred dollar card on eBay. All right, I don't know if anything crazy is gonna be in this one. Except for maybe back-to-back -back Diamond King cards. Pico de Gallo. Okay, so we got a Nolan Arenado. Oh, we got one number to 100 of Raphael Devers. 
Not the biggest of names, but I do like the nice little hundreds in the back. And Nolan Arnado. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thanks for watching. I am going to be putting up a jelly bean um, guess. Um, how many jelly beans are in there? And if you can guess, whoever guesses closest, I should say, is going to get um, a uh, free Tops 21 fat pack. So stay tuned for that. I should have that up soon. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.